So, you've probably clicked on this because you've seen the title. It's not clickbait. I am leaving YouTube. It has been a decision that I've been spending the last month and a half thinking about, and it came ahead to a head this morning when I was just literally in tears because out of fear I had to delete my live stream from last night. Because if you don't know what's going on, Copa, FTC, YouTube, it is a big thing affecting creators, and it's not just affecting people that make money. It's affecting those like me that don't. And the thing that scared me was that the FTC is talking about finding people who mislabel videos, which is why I deleted Spyro, because I labeled it as not for kids. And under their guidelines, it might be for kids, even though I cussed throughout like 90% of the video, it's got kid-friendly characters in it. And... It kind of just all came to a head this morning, and I have a freaking headache because I've been crying. Because this is a very hard decision for me to make. This is my second YouTube channel. I gave up on the first one after half a year. And I came back, and I told myself that I'm not going to give up, that I'm going to get a mic. I'm going to get all the things that I can afford, and I'm going to push myself to make videos and see what people like. And I did. I streamed and it just turned out that streaming was more popular with my channel and I hit my niche, my group of people that like to watch my videos. I made it to 70 subscribers in a year. It has been exactly a year as of last week since I started this channel. My very first live stream was a Christmas charity live stream. And I can't stay here though because I'm every day every upload is anxiety and fear of whether they're going to see something as child friendly that I don't my content is made for teenagers and adults but you know what I have a lot of kids that watch my channel I don't agree with it and I don't like it because this is not a place for kids. I am an adult. I cuss. I make jokes in games where there's sex jokes. It's who I am. It's what I do. My husband does the same thing when he joins me on streams. But I have to worry about a character looking too animated. And them flagging that as kid-friendly. Because if you cuss at a kid-friendly video, you can get in trouble. If I mark things that aren't kid-friendly because of my cussing and they still see it as kid-friendly, I can get in trouble. It's not worth the stress to stay here. I'm not leaving YouTube completely. I am deleting things that I for, sure, for certain think are kid-friendly, like Spyro, Kingdom Hearts, and Final Fantasy. Even though Final Fantasy for sure is not at all tailored towards children, it is a Japanese... RPG and it is animated that way and there's things like Pokemon and Yokai Watch that are also Japanese animated that are seen for kids and I don't know where they're going to distinguish the line between that being for kids and not so it's safer I'm getting rid of them I am putting age restriction slowly but surely on all the rest of my videos this never stopped kids from getting in the past but may, I'm hoping that it's a sign to YouTube that, hey, these are not tailored for kids. I'm keeping all my vlogs up because even if they are tailored for kids, my vlogs are pretty family friendly. I'm keeping my game reviews because a lot of the game reviews are for Death Stranding and that's definitely not kid friendly. Don't know how you could even mistake that for kid friendly. Uh... I'm keeping the game reviews, game, uh, just reviews of trailers, reaction videos, I'm keeping those. So I'm going to switch everything into more of a review and reaction channel. But I am not stopping on streaming. I'm not giving up on streaming. I'm moving to Twitch. I... My Twitch is the same. It's Head Over Heels Gaming. I'll have the link below. 
I'm going to start off by restreaming the Spyro series because I wanted to do that here. And then fear hit me because of all these new changes that they aren't clarifying enough. I wouldn't have an issue if they were clear, cut and clear rules. I live by rules. I love rules. I understand rules. I can follow them if they're understandable. They are not understandable right now. They are not classifying whether gaming channels that play kids' games but have an adult audience or cuss are going to get in trouble. They're not claiming whether all gaming could be considered a kid-friendly thing because it attracts kids. Gaming attracts kids. I know this. I've seen it. So my goal is to go someplace where I know the rules. And I have streamed on Twitch before. And I wasn't really getting a start because I just started out. And it was easier to do YouTube instead of YouTube and Twitch. So my plan is to go wholly to Twitch. I've deleted all the old streams. There weren't that many. I'm going to do a refresh and a restart. And I would like it and I would appreciate it greatly if the subscribers I've had here would follow me to Twitch. Because I have worked really hard this year. And I don't want to just toss it all away, which is why I'm not just up and deleting my channel. Sorry. It just feels like all the work I've done is gone away. Because doing the thing I love gives me anxiety here. And that's part of why I want to go to Twitch, and I want people to join me there. Because I want to be able to do what I love without being afraid. And I'm terrified right now being on YouTube. I'm okay. I'm terrified even with the videos I'm deleting that something in the remaining stuff, even though it's M-rated games, is going to get flagged and I'm going to get in trouble. I don't make money here. I can't afford to get in trouble here. So I'm going to go to a place where hopefully I won't have to worry about that. I'm okay. Come here. Come here. I'm okay. So yeah. Summing it up, I am leaving YouTube. There will be a stream on Twitch today. Once I get a hold of myself. It's, it's okay. There'll be a Spyro stream, uh, a Spyro stream, and if anyone wants to come by and see how Twitch works, if you've never used it, I think you'll like it. It is so much easier for me as a creator to even use, especially streaming-wise. Twitch sets up so much faster. So, yeah, I'm gonna go move on to Twitch. I'm currently deleting anything that might be kid-friendly, and I will be age-restricting the rest of my videos. Uh, at least the ones that I think need to be, as a precaution. I will also be downloading the videos onto my computer, because when I get to Twitch Affiliate, I can actually upload my YouTube vids onto Twitch as VODs. So yeah, I just really want your help to make Twitch successful. Uh, if you could all just follow me there. I'm not asking for extra follows. I'm not asking for new people yet. I just don't want to lose the people I already talk to during streams. The people that comment on games. I want them to be part of my new gaming experience on my new on the new platform that I'm going to. And also, my channel is never well, I can't say never. My Twitch channel can be dead. But when I'm not streaming on Twitch, I do host other channels like Brendan Yuri. I host Mark and Jack when they stream. I host uh Maximilian when he streams. So I've got all these other stuff going on in my channel and I just think Twitch is going to be fit where I feel safe. And I want to be where I feel safe and can stream without being afraid. So, yeah. That's where we're going. And that's basically what's happening. So thank you for watching. Bye.